A pleasant day to everyone. I am Rimia Swan and I will discuss about exercising curriculum leadership in selecting textbook and other instructional materials. But before anything else, let me tell you about two important things. First is the importance of exercising curriculum leadership. According to King 2002, by focusing on learning, teaching, and monitoring progress, curriculum leaders help educators improve their instructional practices and ensure students' achievements improves as a result of meaningful, supportive decision about pedagogy, coursework, and instructional materials. Second, the importance of teacher in the curriculum. The role of the teacher in the curriculum process is to help students develop an engaged relationship with the content. Active learning will increase the focus and retention of the curriculum, resulting in an exciting learning environment. Teachers' rules in curriculum evaluation affects the school's choice of textbook as well as the adaptation of special programs to augment educational standard. Classroom instructor examines the curriculum's objectives to determine the relevance of the material. In 2015, the Department of Education developed a framework for developing and selecting textbook and other instructional materials. The framework prescribes that all textbook and instructional materials are first, aligned to K-12 curriculum. Textbook and other instructional materials should follow the curricular standards and competencies prescribed by the K-12 curriculum. Second, contains expert system of knowledge. Authors that are expert in their field should write the textbook and other instructional materials. It is also important that the content of the instructional materials are accurate and up-to-date. Third, have provision for differentiated instruction. It is important to provide activities and assessment strategies that are relevant to learning style and thinking preference of the learner. The needs of the fast and slow learner should be also considered. Fourth, the provision for reflective thinking. The instructional materials in textbook should engage the learners to develop critical thinking and creative thinking and encourage reflective thinking. Fifth, the provision to parental and community involvement. The textbook and instructional materials should encourage parental and community involvement. This means that service learning, real-life integration, and parental support are encouraged. So curriculum leaders, therefore, is an act of exercising functions that enables the achievement of a school goals of providing quality education. The definition of curriculum leaders involves functions and goals. A curriculum leader has to take charge of making sure that the curriculum goals are achieved.